Hey guys, this is the Spartan, and today I will be bringing you the second most powerful unit in the game, beaten only by the sandbag. It's called the Trooper. As you see, it's right next to the sandbag, just to just to prove that it's more just to prove that it's more pathetic than the sandbag, because no unit in the game is as powerful as the sandbag, as I said in my pre as I said in my previous sandbag review. So this unit performs the best on only the most power on only mam on the most powerful mammoths. It, he can't deal quite a, quite a, quite as much damage as a sandbag, but he still does well. I'll put him in the front row just to show off how amazing it is, and I'll put off some mega tanks so you can see how weak they are compared to it. Here, here are my pathetic mega tanks and the pow all powerful troopers. Now, I'll show you its attack. The single shot. As you see, they nerfed it down. It used to be like a billion. It used to be like, I don't know, 10,000 damage. Now it's only like 2. Now it's only like 27. As you see, its attack was real so powerful, but since it's nerfed, it got destroyed. So, there really is no more point in this battle because my mega tanks don't care about mammoths. So let me show you this unit one more time on the raider training in the raider training camp. Now I will obviously overpower these guys because the trooper is such a powerful soldier. Where is it? There are my troopers. And I'll start shooting. As you see they're completely dominating these raiders because they're so powerful. I mean, a rank four trooper. This thing is like this thing is like a mobile machine of death in a hu in human form in battle nations, obviously. So, do you see how I am destroying these guys one by one without losing a soldier? Yeah, all of these shots are all of their shots are misfiring. Soon they'll have to reload. This is going great. This is going great. So as you see, my troopers aren't are barely taking any damage from these guys. That just shows off how powerful this unit is. And there go all the raiders. And I can get it promoted to rank five now. So the the troopers are, are, um, wait for this, stop, stop, are easy to heal, costing 2 iron and 78 gold, and it takes a minute and 36 seconds, wow, excuse me there, that was weird, and they take 4 minutes and 12 seconds to make 225 gold and 5 iron, so I'm just gonna make another one, because I'm gonna make a troop army soon, and someone sent me a message, I'll reply to that soon, yeah, don't worry about sending me messages. I reply to most, if not all of them. So if you want to, go right ahead. So the trooper at rank 4 has 70 health, 30 bravery. It's like 30,000, you just can't see it. See, it's still not as much as the sandbag, but it's still good. 65 defense, again, they ran out of space for all the zeros. It has partial blocking. It has so many bonuses to all of these that they literally ran out of space. Its battle rifle has 3 ammo and 3 reloads to keep it from being overpowered. It, has 28, it does 28 to 33 billion damage with a cooldown of 1. Oh no, it's not billion, it's 28 to 33 hundred thousand, obviously. My, my mistake, I'm sorry. It has ammo used 1, range 1 to 2, direct line of fire, and 61 offense. Now, I did not get the double shot attack because I wanted to prevent this unit from becoming too overpowered because I, like I like a challenge, even though this, this single attack doesn't make it a challenge. But this attack has exactly the same stats except it has 41 offense and 2 attacks instead. So I'm not sure why it doesn't say 28 to 232 times 2, but whatever. Well, I guess it's because this unit is so special and powerful, but that's not the point. So, as we see, it's already healed. So, this was the Spartan with the second most powerful unit in the game, the Trooper. And this unit review was totally honest, like I said before. And goodbye.